here have watched a movie before? Yes, go film and television. Today I want to int introduce you to Mr. Wyman Yang, one of the co-founders of Filmocrats, and he has made a private space for filmmakers. So a lot of you are film consumers. This is for filmmakers. Wyman, tell me what Filmocrats is. So how many of you have made a film or just a video? Yeah, so if, you, if you're serious about your film, uh, sometimes you want to submit it to festivals or you want to post it to Vimeo where it's got staff picked, but they only have 10 staff picks on the homepage and they have 60,000 uploads every day. So you have a pretty slim chance of getting listed on the homepage, right? So what we do is that we help you find your core audience uh, through a process called test screening. So what test screening does is that um, it's very similar to uh, uh, a beta testing. Uh, you roll out your film to a small group of audience, right? And then you let them watch it. If they like it, you show it to a bigger audience, and eventually you show it to, uh, you know, the big screen. So, so, so what types of things are you asking people when they're test screening, or what are you watching for as a filmmaker or a director? Right. So there are a lot of things. Uh, for example, usually during a test screening, uh, a, a filmmaker will hand out a questionnaire to every single uh, audience. Uh, and then things like, you know, do you like the, the car explosion at 140? Uh, or do you like, uh, you know, do you like this actress? Is she sexy? That kind of thing, right? So, uh, so we sort of just incorporated all these online where, you know, currently you have to do things offline. You have to pay roughly $20,000 to get those audience uh, through uh, some agencies that, you know, you may not have heard of. Okay, so I know wh so what is the normal process if you're you know if I'm a, you know going to make a film maybe I'm submitting it to TIFF or if I'm working on a TV pilot how do I actually get a test screening done like what are those costs that are typically involved right uh, so for a Hollywood studio typically they spend uh, two thousand let's say they spend two thousand dollars to to rent a venue which you know you can only rent it for two hours and then you pay the rest of the money to find core audience usually it's you know, 100 to, uh, to 200 test audience, uh, but th that will cost you roughly 20,000. And most of the, the emerging filmmakers cannot, cannot, cannot afford it, so. So you're bringing test screening to the masses? Yes. Okay, so. To every, to every filmmaker. Okay, so let's actually take a look at it. I hate talking, I like sure. showing. Yep. So the product has uh, two layers. One is, you know, really just an online version that, you know, you don't have to find a venue. Yeah, so imagine this is the actual offline theater where you have a lobby and a lot of people are here. Now we, we don't have a lot of people, we only have two. This is for demo purposes. Um, so you can you know, have a general discussion, things like uh, you know, what are we watching today? Kind of just talk with your pals. Um, and if you ever got invited to a film, this is a film that my uh, co-founder actually produced uh, during his graduation. I, th I think it's your graduation project or something? It's just coursework, yeah, just some coursework. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, so here, once you start playing the video, as an audience, I'm watching, right? So we're gonna watch, so we're gonna watch for a bit and you're gonna talk. Yep, so, you know, it's, it's what, what's it about, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't even matter what it's about. Yeah. But so. So it's it's some Buddhism, uh, some documentary about Buddhism, um, and if you click pause, uh, you will see a question on top of the page. Uh, how do you like the music, right? And then there will be people commenting below saying that what you know. So basically, the, so the director, the producer, they're asking certain right. questions at certain times, and right. whenever you stop, you have a chance to actually share your answer. Right. And you can pin your question to any point uh, on the timeline of the video. Kind of like SoundCloud comments. When yeah, you uh, it's actually pretty similar. Yeah, um, you can also have general discussions. If, have, if you don't want to answer any questions, uh, you can invite more people. Now we have a restriction on the amount of people that you can invite. Uh, it's only five people. It's just so that we want to make sure that you have your quality contacts to watch the, the film, right? You can always close it. Here, as a filmmaker, you can always start a new topic. Or frankly, an audience, you can always start a new topic. Uh, just put in any topic that you want to talk about. Let's say, oh, you know, uh, here is the music is great, or is the lighting okay, that kind of thing. 
Yeah, so that's that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. So I I know you're in a private beta right now, but we're in private, private, private beta. Yeah, so it's <laughs> like triple private, you know. Yeah. Well, uh, no. So you have one exclusive test partner. It's a uh, education yeah. institution. Yeah. Uh, so you know we're targeting film schools now. Uh, there are about twenty film schools in Canada, but over twelve hundred uh, film schools around the world. Uh, and then we just had several submissions from uh, Sheridan College, their animation uh, and you know film study program. Uh, so there are several teams uh, that are actually using it. And and what is the feedback from Sheridan College been so far? Oh, they feel great. Uh, and they you know on one hand they can use it as a collaborative tool with within their team, and also you know sort of professors can get on this site and sort of grade their um, review their their students' work. Uh, just to just so that you know, it's it's a really good educational tool, I would say. Yeah. So it has that enterprise layer uh, on top of it. Yeah. And so so test screening. So I gotta ask you about money yep. now. Uh, yep. Test screening. It's usually really expensive for people to do. Is there a way you're doing it cheaper, or what's your revenue model? Sure. Uh, so our revenue model so far is a freemium model for anyone uh, who has a video. Uh, frankly, you can you can post a video if you think you want to make it private and you want to talk about it with your with your friends. Uh, the revenue model now is that the lowest point is 1999 uh, a month because we, we're thinking about licensing it to schools and some of those schools are frankly, they're pretty open with that 1999 model, similar to what Adobe did to, uh, to license their Adobe package to, you know, to other students around the world. So we're doing that, yeah. It sounds pretty expensive, but if you think about it, if it's twenty thousand dollars to do a test screening, then it's pretty cheap to to pay nineteen ninety nine. Yeah. All right, big round of applause for Wyman. Thank you. Thank you.